Hey friends, we're back and we have your 12th market update for September. We're going to break down that information for you and no one better do that with me than Megan, local superstar agent, and she's joining us right now. Megan, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good. So we're going to dive right into the numbers and get people what they need to know so we can get them on their way to uh, making good decisions on their homes. What do you say? Yep. Sounds good. All right. Let's get into the numbers. Let's look at that. So last year, same time in September, 100, 100 homes sold. Yeah. So cool. comparing that to this year, Megan, what do you see there? Yeah, so we have had a decrease in about 26% in homes sold. Um, that directly correlates with the active listings on the market. So clearly we can see we had 283 active listings in the month of 2020, 2023 and uh, 206 in 2022. So obviously right. sold the less active listings, um, but we are at a decrease in solds. Yes. So... The, the number has definitely gone up in terms of uh, how many listings you have active on the market right now. Um, right. And, and like you were saying, this is uh, sort of all related, but also the, the interest rate hikes have definitely made a uh, an impact there. Now, in terms of detached semis and towns, have you seen any changes there from now to last year? Yeah, so we have increased price in all of them. Detached and semis barely average a 3 to 4% increase. Uh, from last year to this year. The townhomes is what we've been seeing a huge increase in, uh, 15%. So last year, September 22, roughly about 736 uh, on average or 737 for a townhome. And uh, bringing it back to this year, we're seeing on average 865,000 for a townhome. So huge increase in price. Right. So detach has sort of stayed kind of flat, right? And so it's kind of you're stuck to buying more of a, an attached home for affordability. Yeah, a newer home most likely too. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Interesting. Is there a lot of new construction going on in uh, in the Guelph area? Yeah, tons of construction. So, so looking at that and looking at the active listings on the market right now, we're not looking at those numbers right now. So there could be another, you know, right. 50 active listings by builders that aren't on MLS that, that could be added to this. So folks could be buying those as well, and that could be taking away from those uh, sold properties as well. Yeah, I was just going to go into the days on market. So although that we do see that we have less homes sold, with the homes that are being sold, we are seeing that they're staying on the market for an average of two weeks less than last year. So right. last year, they're saying staying on the market for about a month, and this year we're down to about 18 days. So that could come to uh, pricing strategies. Um, a lot of agents we're seeing are pricing the list to sell, right? Um, so right. that could, that's a huge factor. Yeah. So what do you think? You think that number is going to start to go up, that days on market uh, number? You think it's going to start to tick up again because we all of a sudden have so much inventory on in the next little while? Yeah, I would. I would think that that could happen. Of course, interest rates are going to have a huge, uh, are going to be a huge factor on that, depending on what they're going to do. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing um, the average days on market start to increase. It does look like we're sort of inching towards that buyer's market that uh, everybody's talking about, because just by looking at the numbers from last year until this year, it, it, it's starting to inch that way. And just sort of looking at numbers on the date now, what are you seeing? Are you seeing a more of an uptick in listings? Are you seeing any more uh, homes getting sold? Or what are you seeing right now? Just to get people some fresh, fresh data. Yeah, so we have more inventory coming in than going out. So naturally, we're going to see the houses start to sit on the, the market for longer. The inventory level is definitely starting to go up. And I've seen it in a lot of different pockets. I've seen it in uh, in Toronto. Obviously, there's, there's a lot of stuff coming up, but they're very volatile. But our markets, like the one in Guelph, they are feeding from that area. And when folks start to list a lot more down south, obviously there's going to be more people buying that way and, and less homes going out here. So like you said, we're certainly going to see more inventory, more days on market. 
and uh, that's going to directly correlate to some lower prices. So what would you suggest to somebody that wants to uh, list their house rate? Uh, I would probably list competitively at a price as competitive as possible. Uh, get as many buyers through your house just because if you have an overpriced listing, then you're not even able to get buyers through even to give you the feedback that's needed or to sell your home. So yeah, I think so too. You're right. I, I'd say there's a time is not your friend if you're listing right now, because right. if you end up sitting with everybody else, right? Like you're saying, you're gonna, you're gonna end up just sitting on there and chasing yeah. the market downwards. Now, what I see happening is I do see a bit of a, a cushion in terms of where the prices are going to land. And obviously that could get better or worse with a, uh, an increase or a decrease in, in those mortgage rates. But because we have so many people that are coming into this country, but also so many people that, that are moving towards the wealth area, I see there being some cushion and some pockets like wealth that are being a little bit more protected from, from some kind of a big downturn than some other places. Like for example, uh, Wasega Beach. Yeah. 220 listings right now on the market. They've sold th about 320 this year. So oh. they have a lot of listings up there. So there's uh, there's different pockets that are doing different, but I think, right. well, it's such an awesome town. It's uh, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty resilient, but we'll certainly keep you guys updated on everything that goes on. We'll uh, get this update out a little bit faster for next month. Megan, I hope you can join us again. I know you're busy, but uh, we'd love to have you again. So we'll see everybody again on the next video. Bye. All right. Bye.